Good day everyone, welcome to today's Meek Admin. My name is Ivan and I will be discussing SOLIDWORKS and graphics cards, which ones to use and why you want to pick certain ones over others. Now to start off, you might have heard from us and from other resellers or even from SOLIDWORKS themselves, uh, generally we recommend you use a certified graphics card. And this is just so you can uh, reap the benefits of the work SOLIDWORKS does in collaboration with NVIDIA and AMD, where they test and modify drivers to be specific, uh, to specifically avoid issues you might otherwise see with software like SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to show you a few of these issues I found. Now, this is one issue. You can see the user's dimensions are not showing. Uh, this user was running a GeForce card. A similar issue here where the plane is not showing correctly. Uh, this is another one. You can see the user's menus uh, only highlight when he hovers over them and even then the menu is not entirely correct. And then lastly and probably the worst one is uh, this particular one. Uh, this user is running a GeForce card which and likely he was also not running a very recent driver. Um, now, I've even seen issues where SOLIDWORKS will crash. Uh, I've had, last, just last week, a user reported to me issues where when you rotate the model, SOLIDWORKS crashes. Um, now, updating that user to a newer driver did resolve the issue, but they were still running a GeForce card, which is not certified, and thus uh, they still have some significant performance issues. And uh, speaking of performance issues, I'd like for us just to discuss how Quadro cards compare to uh, the GeForce cards. So you'll see here, uh, what I've done is I've taken the uh, GPU performance data from the Share Your Score website, uh, averaged it, and I've gone ahead and just put everything relative to this P620, so as a percentage here. So the P620 um, is just is a 5,000 Rand professional graphics card. It's usually the lowest end you can find today. And it performs quite well, especially considering its cost and also the amount of uh, cores and stuff in it. Compare that to the GeForce card here, which is not certified. You can see, uh, while it is slightly behind, it's still, this is a, a 28,000 Rand graphics card. So it's certainly not a cheap card and, and its performance does not to live up to that cost. Even this P2000, which is an eight to 10,000 Rand graphics card, about matches what this 2080 does. And you'll avoid all the graphical issues that comes with a non-certified card if you were to use this at less than half or almost a third the price. Uh, lastly, this Quadro RTX 4000 here. Uh, so this is generally what we recommend for um, large assemblies or if you wanna do it any rendering. This is an amazing card. It comes in at about 18 to 20,000 Rand, but it performs really well, especially with large assemblies. And I'll show you a bit more of that later on. Uh, here, I've just taken the performance data from the previous chart and normalized it based on cost. So you can see here, uh, if we look at how much performance you're getting per Rand or dollar, the P620 definitely wins out. So a lower number here is better, or lower, a shorter chart. And the RDX 2080 just completely does not make sense at all in terms of a cost versus performance standpoint. Uh, the P2000 is generally what we recommend for most users, and you can see it performs quite well. And even the RTX 4000 outperforms this RTX 2080. And this is the highest end graphics card you could get up to and about a month ago. There's new graphics card that just came out. Um, we're still waiting to see what the benchmarks for those will be like in SOLIDWORKS. So I have a bit more data here from Puget Systems. They perform a lot of benchmarks and a lot of users and VARs use these kinds of uh, charts. Uh, so particularly look at the orange bars. So you'll see here, um, orange is shaded with edges and green is shaded with edges with real view and ambient occlusion on. So generally, these are frames per second. You want these to uh, be higher than 30 or 60. And you can see even the lowest end quadra with this type of assembly does fairly well. Um, if we move to an extremely large assembly, this is in excess of 40 million triangles, 
you can see the P1000, even the P2000, they were really not up to, up to snuff. And even the highest end of the previous generation of Quadro cards, the P6000, uh, did not perform as well, even with, with real view on. It's just barely above 30. Now, the RTX 4000, which I think is about uh, a quarter or a third the price of this P6000, does extremely well. And we're likely to see even bigger performance improvements with the new graphics cards that NVIDIA have brought out. So yeah, the recommendation is stick with certified graphics card. Use P2000, uh, even a P620 or a P1000 will perform much better than any GeForce card. Um, and make sure you're using the correct drivers. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this YouTube video. If you have any questions regarding hardware recommendations, just contact support and like and subscribe below and goodbye.